its transparency, Solomon Island's biggest concern is the possibility of mercury contamination at the mine. She says Transparency understands some of the operators are either using or going to get local miners to use mercury for extraction. The possibility of what is happening in Ghana where the use of mercury and no attention is paid to uh, environmental damage and river system pollution. So we need um, the government to follow the law. The law is pretty good, but at the moment we are not following it. St. Barbara's Tim Lahaney says the mining company doesn't use mercury, but he's also heard the rumours of its use and says if they're true, that's a very serious issue. Earlier this year, Solomon Islands Parliament heard that villagers along the Metapona River could no longer use the water for drinking, bathing, washing their clothes or fishing, nor could they grow crops along the river banks. But Mr Lahaney says if that is the case, it's nothing to do with Goldridge. We're not contributing to any poisoning in inverted commas of the river. As I said, we have an extensive sampling program. We can demonstrate that we have not contributed to the condition of the river. A greater concern to us are the sanitary conditions in the villages downstream that um, pollute uh, the river. Tim Lahaney accepts that human effluent is unlikely to affect crops, but he says they could stop growing for a variety of reasons.